section of Forbes and Grant sits in the heart of downtown. So too does this van that belongs to club controversy. And city councilman Dan Gilman, he doesn't like it. The word controversy sits on the side panel of this van, and that's pretty much what it's stirring. It belongs to Controversy Strip Club in a prime spot that's a little too much for some eyes in the government district downtown. Not really. Where it is on Grant Street? Yeah, right on the main road and yeah. Scantily clad photos on the back, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably not right for a public area. One especially large edgy image is on the rear panel. Apparently, people are complaining about this van, according to City Councilman Dan Gilman. It's clearly in a location that's very visible right here at the corner of, you know, Forbes and Grant what across people, from City what Hall. What are people saying about this van? People ask why you're allowed to have a van like that. Daily downtown visitors say the van never moves from this high-profile spot at the Interlot parking lot. Gilman says it's an underhanded way of undermining the city's billboard ordinance. If there was a billboard here, a big metal pole with a billboard on top, it would be illegal, clear as day under the city code. But you can now paint a van and leave it and not move it and call it not a billboard. Club Controversy is located on West Carson Street. It is open only Thursday through Sunday. No one has responded about the van. If it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. To me, this is a billboard. The next step is to see what the city's law department has to say about the van. At the very least, Councilman Gilman says either the owner of the van or the parking lot should be cited. Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.